Hey everybody! Today we're going to talk about uploading an image or a video to a discussion board or an assignment through the Canvas Student app. The first thing you want to make sure that you do is to download the app onto your phone or your device. Um, if you have an Apple device, you want to go through the App Store. If you have an Android, you want to go ahead and download the Canvas Student app through the Play Store. Um, if you have a Windows phone, that's okay, don't worry about it. Um, you will access and do this the same exact way through a browser. It'll just look a little different for you. So uh, the other thing that you want to make sure is that you have the file accessible and somewhere that you can find it, um, whether it's an image or a video. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to touch the Canvas student app. It's going to open Canvas, and if you haven't signed in before, your screen's going to look a lot like mine does. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say find my school. The school that you're looking for is going to be under Community Colleges of Spokane. Oh, there it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this up it's going to redirect me and ask me to put in my CTC link ID and my password so I'll go ahead and I'll do that once I've done that you'll see a list of your courses I see my courses here and for the purpose of this video I'm going to choose the e-learning faculty development course once inside the course your course may look different than mine all professors and faculty choose to set theirs up differently. So whereas I'm going to see my modules toward the top and then if I scroll I'm going to see discussion boards, yours may look slightly different and you may have to go into the modules to get to the discussion board or the assignment that you're trying to upload the video or the image to. I'm going to go to discussion boards and once I get there You'll make sure you want to make sure that you have a good internet connection, whether it's on your phone or you're on Wi Fi. Once I get there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose where I'd like to turn this in. I see my discussion board, the due date, all the other stuff, and at the bottom I see reply. So that's where I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reply. Once you do that, this box will open up, allowing you to type in a message or submit a document as an attachment. The little paper clip up toward the top right hand side is your place to, to touch on to get it to open up and attach for to attach a file. All of mine are stored on my device so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click device. I'm going to choose the mp4 file that I would like to upload and in a minute you're going to see this box pop up that has my mp4 on there and I'm going to say OK. Once that is attached you will see a red box with a little play button in it. Um, that means that it is attached and then you'll click in the upper right hand corner and you'll push the little send button. It may take a minute depending on your connection of how fast it's going to go ahead and submit that discussion board. Once it does submit successfully, though, you will get a notification saying that this discussion board has been successfully submitted, and that should show up at any time. And this is the message that you'll see the discussion board reply was successful. And then once you see that, you should see it under replies here, where you can see the attachment if you click on the little paper clip. It's as easy as that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.